And in the next part of the question, we are asked to find the Cartesian equation of the locus of the midpoint of PD, which we are representing it as M. So we are seeing this word locus, and it makes us wonder whether the word locus is still relevant to, the, to our syllabus, because this question here belongs to a 2014 A-level paper. And 2014 was still running the old H2 math syllabus. And this word locus was actually a pretty common word seen in the old H2 math syllabus, specifically in the topic complex numbers. In the, in the topic complex numbers, students were then required to sketch a representation of a variable complex number on an argon diagram, a variable complex number. For us in the new syllabus, we usually just sketch a fixed complex number that is going to be represented on an argon diagram. So it is going to be just a point. But because in the old syllabus, they were supposed to be sketching a variable complex number to be represented on an argon diagram. So you're going to be looking at multiple points. And when you join these multiple points together, it is going to form for us a path. And for that path, it is called the locus of the complex number. So if you were to search Wikipedia, and I've done that, let me show you guys what is uh, defined in Wikipedia for locus, which can also be a math term. So locus is defined as the set of points that satisfy some property. It is a set of points that satisfy some property. So that path, when it is tested in the old syllabus for complex number, it represents the path or the set of points that is going to be satisfying the property of that variable complex number. So coming back to this question here, we are now asked to find the locus of the midpoint, which means that we are supposed to find the path of how M is being traced out on the XY axis. And if you were to just refer to a 2000, the 2017 A-level paper, you actually see the 2017 is running the new syllabus. Okay, so in the new syllabus, you actually see this particular question. And in this question, which, which is actually very, very similar to the 2014 question. And in here, we were asked to find the Cartesian equation of the curve traced out by the point F, which is the midpoint of, of um, D and E. So the locus of the midpoint, the curve traced out by the midpoint, they're actually representing exactly the same thing. It is representing the path of this set of points that satisfy the property that is mentioned by the question. Which means that in this particular question, when we are asked to find the locus of the midpoint, we are basically asked to find the path, the curve that is traced out by the midpoint. So what is the midpoint? What is the coordinate of the midpoint? The coordinate of the midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2. So we have a 3p squared divided by 2 and 6p plus 3p divided by 2. y1 plus y2 divided by 2. It gives me a 9p divided by 2. And since this question says that p is a variable, p varies. So if p varies, that means the point m is going to be taking up different position. It is going to trace out a path. That is what the question is trying to refer to. It is the locus of the midpoint because this point is going to be tracing out for us a particular curve. That is why to me, I feel that the word locus is still pretty much relevant to the new H2 math syllabus or rather its meaning is still very, very much, uh, very, very much relevant. Maybe the word is less commonly used, but we cannot ignore the fact that the idea or the meaning that is, that is represented by the word locus is still going to be tested in the new H2 math syllabus. So what I would suggest that you guys still please take note of the word locus, where it's actually a general math term. Okay, and do know that this word locus represents, I mean, in this case here, it represents the path of M or the curve that is traced out by M. So how do we find a curve that is traced out by M? Actually, this is a very, very interesting question. You know why? Because this question is trying to do something that is, uh, that is actually part of our, of our H2 math syllabus. If you to think about it, since P is a variable and the X coordinate is this and the Y coordinate is this, we can actually rewrite the coordinate as X to be equal to 3P squared over 2 and Y is equal to 9p divided by 2 and this happens at the same time and you know what this question is leading us to be getting this question has led us to get a new pair of parametric equation that is why this is a very interesting question instead of us being given a set of parametric equation 
This question actually lead us through the question to form our own new pair of parametric equation. And what we are supposed to do is to just find the Cartesian equation of the parametric equation. So let's try to go through the same process of finding Cartesian equation of a pair of parametric equation by, let's say, doing a substitution. If I were to work on this equation here, making P the subject, P is going to be 2 over 9 of Y. And if I were to substitute this into here, that will give us an equation that is in terms of X and Y, which means that we are going to be forming our Cartesian equation, which is going to be X is equal to 3 over 2 of P squared, which is 2 over 9 Y square so the cartesian equation of the locus of the midpoint will be x is equal to 2 over 27 of y square in fact this question has came out a few times in the a levels and i do think that it is very very cru crucial for us to all know exactly what is the co the locus or at least we do we still should try to Take note of the meaning that is behind the word locus because this is still very much tested in the new H2 math syllabus. So other than this question, let's try to work on a few more questions. I have some examples for you. Can you please turn to the page that has... Um